Um, so I've decided I'm going to attempt. This may or may not work because I'm not very good at the video editing and splicing. Sound I can do. Video, for some reason, I'm not very good at. But I'm going to try to make a um, mini smoothie, like a protein smoothie recipe, I don't know, updates. Um, one for each day for each new one I try. Of course, I won't always be making a new one every day. As I like some, I'll keep doing it. As I don't like others, obviously I'm not going to do those again, but, you know. So, um, today, um, I had a brilliant idea also. I have clear glasses. I can show you this way instead of trying to tip. Um, this one ended up being bigger than I expected, and it's, as you can see, kind of thick. Oops. It's, um a bit solid, so I may not be drinking this one, I may be eating this with a spoon. Mmm, yeah. But, mmm, it's pretty good actually. Mmm, uh oh. Well, okay, so that one will be getting spooned down in a minute, but um, how did I make it? Start with some kind of fruit, um, or sorry, vegetable and fruit uh, base. V8 is fine, um, of course I don't have V8 here, I live in Japan. Um, a banana. I always think I'm going to put a banana in if it's at all possible because I find that when I have one of these, um, it helps with my cramps because lots of potassium. Uh, not like lady cramps, sorry, muscle cramps. And of course, a tomato chopped up. Um, I left the skin in, which is actually probably why it's so thick, but um, tomato skin I guess is pretty healthy. And of course, scoop of your favorite protein. I use soy because it tastes better. Um, I've tasted the whey. I don't think it tastes very good. But if you like whey, that's your thing. Um, do your research. Find out which one you like better. Because I don't really know much about either. I just went on taste. So anyway, um, this is actually a success, although not a success in terms of being a smoothie. It's a little thick. So I would recommend adding a, about a cup and a half or only putting half of the tomato in. <laughs> Oops. Um, yeah, that's all for today. Hey everyone, um, okay, so I don't have much time because I have to hurry to work because it's Sunday and, um, yeah, I decided to go for an early morning run in my new stuff. Yes, I was wearing a track jacket, but it's a little warm in here now, so I don't have time, but, um, uh, anyway. So, new smoothie. Um, this one, mm, yeah, can't really see in the video, I'm sure, once I get on YouTube. Um, it's usual, a banana. I think I'm going to do the banana every day, like I've probably already said. Um, so, banana. Um, <clears throat> this time I put half of a chocolate bar. Um, in my case, it was a, uh, like a locale chocolate bar that they were selling at the 99 shop. They gave me the idea, um, the shop downstairs. But you could use, like, carob, like if you could find a carob chocolate bar or something like that that's a little, um, better for you than actual, you know, chocolate. Although, to be honest, it probably would be okay, because it's not like it's that much. It's, you know, half a bar, so probably not a big deal. And if you're running, I'm sure you could burn those calories. <laughs> um, anyway... So half of a, uh, I prefer milk chocolate, so I did half a milk chocolate bar, but I suppose you could do any kind of chocolate if you really wanted to. Um, and then a cup of low-fat milk, a scoop of soy powder, or whatever your protein powder of choice is. So, um, I don't know what I'm going to call this one. I mean, Monkey Bites keeps coming through my head, but I'm pretty sure Cold Stone already has that one. So, anyway, um, this better be good. <laughs> Actually, I think this might be my favorite one yet, but I shouldn't get into the habit of doing it. Although, I may go in and buy um, all the low-fat chocolate they have down there. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks for watching. Sorry, I kind of look like garbage. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go take a shower now and see you for the next smoothie.